Hey guys, it's Daryl again from Gun Learning Channel. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed some of our range shots of the Taurus PT-111 Millennium Pro. It's the G2 and it's got you know a nice ergonomic grip to it. I got these in the shop because I wanted, there was a lot of people buying them, uh, a lot of people asking for them, very reasonably priced. In my shop they're $269 plus tax, which is one of the lowest price nine millimeters that are out there. And I was concerned about, it. I'm thinking, what are we gonna get for 269? Well, I can tell you that after taking it to the range, I'm very satisfied with it. It's got a lot of nice features, not the least of, which is a 12 round mag. So it's a 12 one capacity. In the box, you get two magazines, which a lot of manufacturers don't do. Most manufacturers, one magazine is an extra $30 or so. Comparing this Millennium to the Smith & Wesson Shield, we've got pretty much very, very similar in size. The Shield may be a tiny, tiny bit thinner, but really not in any practical way. So with the Taurus, we've got 12 in one capacity, two magazines. It's got a loaded chamber indicator, which a lot of people like. It's got a manual safety, which obviously is optional. You can use that or not use that. Many people do request that in the shield. The trigger pull is reasonable. It's comfortable to shoot. The grip is very, very ergonomic, very natural. It's got some nice texture to it that's not overdone at all. It gives, it's much nicer than the old rubber grips that some of, the, some of them had on them. Something that's almost unheard of in a factory option from a concealed pistol, especially a reasonably priced one, adjustable sights. So it's got adjustable rear sights. Comes in at just 22 ounces and I think that you'd be very satisfied with it. You'd be very pleased. We shot several different types of ammunition at the range from factory ball ammo, practice ammo, Hornady hollow points, um, reloaded ammunition, lead bullets, and it functioned flawlessly. We put about 100 rounds through it with no issues whatsoever. All I did, I took it out of the box, cleaned it, lubed it, and took it to the range. You're probably thinking, well, 100 rounds really isn't enough to you know, gain a lot of confidence. But in my experience, if I'm going to have difficulty with a firearm and it's functioning, it usually is early on. A lot of the owner's manual, and I can honestly tell you I did not read the Taurus owner's manual, many owner's manuals say to fire one to 200 rounds as a break-in before you know, really assessing whether it's functioning correctly or not. Uh, most of the firearms that I have that wasn't necessary. So I'm gonna give this a really good workout. I'm gonna carry it and I'm gonna take it to the range and use it a lot because I'm pretty impressed with this and I'm impressed with it even not considering the fact that it's a couple hundred dollars less than the Glock 19 that I enjoy carrying as well. Don't forget that in addition to the adjustable rear sights, the manual safety, the loaded chamber indicator, 
It also has the Picatinny rail so that you can mount accessories, lights, lasers, and that very conveniently. Keep in mind that the Shield and the Glock 43 do not have that feature. So just for example, if you're carrying this during the day and you just want to slip on a light that you leave, for example, for a home defense purposes, it's very easy to do.